Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 65. That is, what is the link between requirements traceability matrix and the defects? Let me answer. Using the requirement traceability matrix, we can map the requirements with the test cases and defects. Software testers will create this requirement traceability matrix using which they are going to map the client specified requirements or client given requirements with the test cases that they have created and the defects they have reported. So I'll show you an example template for this RTM, which maps the requirements with the test case and the defects. Okay, there are a lot of templates on RTM. Okay, if you Google search, you'll get a lot of templates, but I'm going to use only such kind of template, which is going to map the requirements with the test case and the defects. Okay, and uh, this particular template, I liked it out of all the other templates that are there on the web i like the template that i am showing you right away here okay so this is the template guys which i like which i which is actually mapping the requirements with the test case and the defects okay as you can see here the first two columns we have the requirements given by the client okay client specified requirements are provided here the requirement id their description okay what the requirements are about these two columns specify the requirements and these requirements in this rtm are getting mapped as you can see in this in this uh, RTM, right, example template, the requirements are getting mapped with the test cases. Okay, that is test case IDs are provided here. The this particular test cases belong to this requirement. This test case is written by the software testers belong to this requirement, and so on. So, and also the test cases will be executed case. Okay, the software testers will run the test cases, and the results of these test cases, whether the test cases are working fine or not, if they are not working according to the expectations, okay, if the application functionality is work, not working according to the test case expectation, they are going to fail. For example, here. TC underscore LG underscore 002 test case ID is failing, okay, due to a particular defect. Here, last one you see, here we are not only mapping the requirements with the test cases, but also with the defects, guys, okay. For the failed test cases, we are reporting the defects. Defects are also mapped with the requirements. So, what is the link between this uh, defects? Why we are mapping the defects with this uh, requirements and test cases here means? So, uh, by doing that, okay, by mapping the defects with this requirements, business okay the business only speaks about the requirements right they don't worry about the test case and the defects okay so, so here business can decide the defects to be fixed before the release according to the requirements by mapping this requirements with the test cases which are actually mapped with the defects okay indirectly we are mapping the requirements with the defects so we can know that in this particular requirement this requirement underscore zero zero two that is login requirement we have a defect okay like that we are mapping the requirements with the defects indirectly and with this with this mapping the business team can decide the defects to be fixed before the release, okay? So since the defects are mapped properly with the requirements, they can understand which requirements have the defects and which requirement defects have to be fixed first, okay? If before release, the business has to decide like which requirements need to be fixed, okay? Which should be working fine. So based on the uh, requirement, uh, kind of requirement, whatever the defects have to be fixed, okay? What are the application functionalities should be stable according to the requirement, business can decide now, okay? They can decide like, a, Okay, this so and so requirements have these defects. Uh, they have to be fixed before because these requirements need to be stable. Okay, after releasing it, after releasing the before releasing the software into the market. Fine. So the, this this is the relation between the defects and the requirement traceability matrix, guys. In some templates, we actually map the defects with the RTM. Okay, in RTM we also map the defects. Okay, and this is advantage the business. Okay, business point of view, business team can understand which requirements have the defects and which uh, Defects have to be fixed so that the requirement requirements get stable, okay? And before releasing the software into the market. And that is only the one, one of the purpose case, okay? There may be other reasons behind that why we have to map the defects with the requirements, okay? There may be other purposes also. Like uh, we can figure out like which requirements have the defects and all this stuff, okay? So, so hope guys you got the answer for this question. What is the link between the requirement traceability matrix and the defects, okay? So that's all for this session. In the next session, I am going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.